Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Bad Fish, and as always, welcome back to another episode of Gone Gaming. We are still in the city of Maunaki, my current ongoing city skyline series for 2021, where we're building out kind of a Hawaiian tropical themed city, just having some fun with it. So if you're new to my channel, welcome to Maunaki. I'm glad to have you here. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you aren't new, Leave a thumbs up. You've been watching my videos for a while. What are you doing? <laughs> Just kidding. You can do whatever you want. But anyway, guys, today we are back in Mount Key. Like I said, we are in the city that we had started out in the last episode, which we still don't have a name for. So if you got a name for this city, pop it down below and uh, I'd love to see it. But if we don't get any city names by the next one, I'm just going to name it. Anyway, um, we're in that city that we started out last time, and we are going to be building out a pretty cool little build here. It's not going to be as long as, uh, you know, some of my builds have been in the past few episodes, but I think it adds a lot of character to the city and really fits in with this tropical kind of resort theme that we're going for. So we're going to be building out a golf course, as you saw in the title, uh, which I'm really excited about. I've used some of these props before. There's some really cool uh, like golf course packs on the workshop, too, that I'm utilizing. You can find those linked in the description below. Um, but yeah, we're going to just have some fun really detailing out a cool golf course in this kind of nook that we had right left of uh, the midtown that we built last time. So. The thing with this golf course, quick disclaimer, it is not a full 18 holes. It's not even nine holes. Why? The holes are absolutely massive, the assets themselves. And uh, my island that I'm building on is very small. It is not a big island, so we cannot fit a full 18 course in there, unfortunately. But we're just working with what we got in City Skylines, right? So we're going to do a quick six hole course and we're going to kind of finagle these around to make them fit. You saw I, even with just six holes, I still had to do a little bit of terraforming in the beginning there. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna kind of place these holes around try to get them looking pretty fresh and nice and uh, Then we're gonna go through and kind of finish out the golf course itself basically uh, You know do the pathing do some different props and things like that and uh, make the clubhouse look really cool So that's kind of what we're doing here uh, Before I wanted to tackle all the like major landscaping around the holes. I wanted to finish up the entryway so really for the entryway um, we're just using this wrought iron fence here to just kind of get everything fenced in away from the street so that way no random people can just walk onto your golf course and start playing and uh, then we're going to use it to just kind of go around some of the natural growth patterns that I'm going to put around here. And then we're going to really just landscape it up. So I'm going to let you guys watch the build for a little bit as I go through kind of making the front entrance look pretty cool. And then uh, we'll move on to actually detailing the course itself. So I'll see you in a bit. So for my last little bit of propping on this entryway, I didn't like this big blob of concrete here. If you've watched my videos, you know I don't like big empty spaces in my building footprints. So just putting a quick little seating area and using some of these like golf bags and some people props just to make it look a little more active. Unfortunately, with the uh, golf course I'm using, it's not going to populate people in it. It's not like a workable park. It's just kind of a set piece. Um, so using some of those people props just to make it look a little more alive, at least at the entry 
entryway I think was a good move. And now we're just gonna start in with our actual like cart paths, which they're not actually cart paths because there's no golf carts here. You're gonna notice that. I did not get golf cart assets for this one. Um, I'm gonna pretend that was intentional, but it was totally a mistake by me and I noticed it while I was building. But my head cannon is, it's a six hole course, you walk it, kid. Come on, you don't need a freaking golf cart for that, right? So uh, we're just gonna put in a little walking path for people to utilize and this is gonna kind of work as the backbone for our landscaping which you'll see in a little bit essentially I like to have the path down first so I kind of can landscape around it and know um, I just think it's the right order to do things for me I think it, it works out a lot better when you put the landscaping down first and then try to cut a path through I don't think it ends up looking as nice um, so we're just gonna go ahead and finish out this cart bath here and then we're gonna move on to kind of our more general landscaping for the holes themselves and um, some detailed landscaping for them as well. So we're gonna finish off the cart path just by adding in a couple of uh, roundabouts at the end of each side of the path. I thought that was fun. I think uh, a couple different courses I know have little roundabouts at the end and we're gonna add in some props on them too. Uh, you'll see in a little bit, I got ball washer props off the workshop. So little golf ball washers for people at the driving uh, tees. And then I did throw in a couple of porta potties cause you know, you're out there on the course for however long, sometimes nature calls and uh, I know most people just walk off into the woods, but hey, we're civilized here. We got some porta potties. So I'm gonna finish up just kind of laying out the course and then get some landscaping started. Uh, I'll let you guys watch that for a little bit and I will pop back in in a while. All right, guys, now we are gonna be moving on to more of our meat and potatoes landscaping for the golf course. Uh, so if you didn't come here for trees, I'm sorry, a golf course episode was not the episode for you because uh, that's all there really is to golf courses once you get everything to it. Uh, it's a lot of landscaping and trying to get things to cut in the right way and look neat uh, so you'll notice for kind of like the base forest around it I'm not getting too granular I'm just copy and pasting some of the like natural growth patterns I've used before and flipping them around um, I'm really only doing that just to kind of get a base of where I want the plants and you'll see me I go through and delete some as well um, but that was just more or less to get kind of a base of where I wanted the plants and then we're going to do some finer detailing around the cart paths themselves. So the first part of finer detailing, I am going to be using these curb props pretty much, uh, you know, throughout the entire course. Uh, it's not going to be lining the entire cart path because I thought that looked ridiculous, but it is going to be on like a lot of the bends and stuff. Uh, that's just a way to add some more like manicured landscaping that maybe the course itself does, you know, make it seem a little more fancy. Uh, but yeah, we're just popping those in to make it look a little nice around the pathing and then uh, as far as the natural growth and stuff I took a lot of it off camera because I know it does get really repetitive um, But you will see me do some more like granular stuff with that just to kind of cut in the course a little bit better 
Um, so, you know, that's kind of how I do it. I kind of get my base forest down and then I'll kind of zoom in and get a lot more granular with it from there. Uh, so right now, just adding in some more of these curbs along the different pathways here, just stretching them, like I said, around the bends mostly. I think it ended up looking really nice and, uh, you know, helps the, the golf course and the cart path pop a little bit more from, you know, a bird's eye view, which I really like because that's, you know, 90% of the time I'm playing the game, I'm in a bird's eye view, unless I'm, you know, doing a granular build. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna finish kind of laying this out, getting the curb props down, making everything fit snugly, and then we'll jump into some more, uh, you know, kind of granular landscaping and stuff like that for you guys. And then we'll jump into the live play and kind of give you a better sense of the course as a whole, because I do think it's something you gotta kind of view as a whole, you know, each, each hole itself, how many times can I say hole right now? Uh, each hole itself is, you know, one piece of the puzzle and putting it all together. I think it looks really nice. Um, so I'm going to let you guys kind of enjoy the last bits of the build here and the music. I'll see you in the live play section. But if you have been enjoying the build so far, definitely leave that like down below. I really appreciate that. And of course, as I said before, if you're new and you enjoy my stuff, you enjoy City Skylines, you enjoy cool builds or just the sound of my voice, hit that subscribe button and check my stuff out. I'll be here for as long as you guys watch. <laughs> so I'll catch you on the live play, guys. Enjoy the rest of the build. All right, guys, here we are in the live play section of today's build. So I hope you enjoyed that quick little time lapse of the golf course build. Uh, you know, this is just a quick little build I wanted to add into Mount Key. I think it made a good addition to that resort we built out last time and that little bit of city we have. So obviously it's a bit of a smaller golf course as you saw, uh, but let's get into it. Let's jump into some of the stuff we built here today. And if you did enjoy that time lapse, please guys leave a like down below. I've really been appreciating the support I've been seeing on my videos. Um, and you know we're looking to grow so i really appreciate that but anyway here is the entryway to our golf course so we have this cool little golf clubhouse over here uh, i believe this is like a callaway shop down here that people are actually going to and using um and then we of course have like this little entryway with the golf course sign and it's all fenced in i think it came out pretty nice you know it's pretty simple i didn't want to do like a big golf resort or anything since we already are uh have this resort over here obviously and let's slow down time a little bit because everyone's sprinting around so we have that resort over there already so i didn't really want to make a giant resort over here i just thought this was more of like a community golf course that like people from across this area come to so going through here and I do apologize if the holes pop in and out it's just something to do with the asset I couldn't figure out how to get it to stop uh, I know it's a problem I had with them last time I used them but anyway over here like I said we have the little Callaway shop right there I just put some people down with you know like golf bags and things just to stand in front of it and make it look a little more active got the parking lots of course over here and then this is just like a little tiny entryway with I just had like a couple golfers sitting there 
to hang out. Um, so really the bulk of this build was of course, as you guys saw the landscaping and making the course itself look good. So like I said, it's just a six hole course, uh, just because of how big these assets are, I couldn't fit any more than that. Like, uh, I don't know if I showed it in the time lapse or not. I'm recording this part, uh, you know, before I edit the time lapse, so I don't know if I'll keep it in, but I did go through pretty much all 18 holes that I picked up off the workshop, and these were really the only ones that were going to truly fit in this area in a way that didn't look ridiculous. So we just have some smaller holes going through. I wrapped a few bits around with just some more like manicured trees and stuff like this. And then uh, this hole is pretty cool. This hole you have to like shoot over this kind of like rough patch with the, you know, rocks and stuff. I put that in so people lose their golf balls. So I make money because they have to buy more golf balls. That's also the reason for the dense overgrowth around it. You know, besides the fact that Mount Aki is tropical and has a jungle. Uh, and then just got a hole leading out into the water right there. So if you, if you wang it, it's going to go straight into the ocean. Bye bye ball. Uh, still going around through this way, just, you know, more holes and stuff, little walkways leading to different parts of the holes, um, you know, keeping the manicured landscaping going, of course. Um, and then at the end of everything, I just put these down and I apologize for the shadows again. I do need to get that app or not app, the mod that helps with uh, softening the shadows. So I don't have to worry about that all the time. But at the end, I made sure people had a place to go and use the restroom if it's getting real rough out there on the course. Um, and just a little added detail. I got these little ball washer things at every uh, drive, you know, driving box. So people can wash their golf balls, make them all pretty. And yeah, that is the course. So like I said, you know, it was more just getting the setup right and getting it to kind of fit into this nook here. Like I had to do a little bit of terraforming down here and extend out uh, the grounds a little bit just so I could fit in these two holes. But I think it, it fits pretty naturally like with the city itself so far. I think it, you know, it's pretty snug right in there. Um, the one I did when I did a golf course in San Pedro, it was like real far away from the city So I kind of like that this one's kind of snug fit in there Obviously, it's not the most realistic just being a six hole golf course. I don't even know of any six hole golf courses I only know nine and eighteen um, But hey, you know it fits for city skylines purposes and again, I do think it looks pretty nice uh, You know look even better when I have ultimate level of detail on and these trees don't look like they're painted by a two-year-old but you know, overall, I'm very happy with how it came out. So let me know what you guys thought of this build down below. I know it was a bit of a quick one. Um, we're going to jump into the cinematic shots and everything for you today. But guys, again, if you did enjoy the build, if you enjoyed, uh, you know, watching me, definitely leave that like down below. I really appreciate that. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. You know, I really appreciate that as well. Uh, I'm trying to grow to a thousand subs by the end of the year. That'd be awesome. Uh, that house is on fire and I have no fire department whatsoever right now to take care of that. So that's a bummer. Anyway, I uh, really appreciate you guys watching this far. I'm going to jump into those cinematics for you, but I will see you in the next one. Peace.